Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Shantanu Srivastava and today I am going to show you that how can we bulk update related records in Dynamic 365 CRM via Power Automate Pro. So as we can see this is the uh, records of uh, accounts and if I open it we can see uh, that these are the related contacts and if I go to the details and see the contact method is any and if I select this and change it to phone and then uh, save it as we can see all the related uh, contacts they should there this as you are seeing any here these are the contact preferred method and this will also change as phone so for that just wait a second uh, we need to refresh it and we can see how this power automate flow is working as we can see there are 25 records associated with this account and if you open power apps and open this power automate flow this one and just uh, open this flow run so this flow has run here and we can see there are 25 records have been updated contacts so how can we achieve it we are going to see in this video for that go to so this is my dynamic 365 environment and as we can see that this is my contact table and here uh, all the preferred method of contacts is selected as any and if i open any company just like this adrenico eco solution these are the related contacts and if i go to details we can see that uh, uh, contact method is email and if i change to any phone just like save it and go back uh, to here we can see that all the adrenico eco solutions related contacts they are are not reflecting the preferred method of contact so what i want if the adrenico eco solution this record has a preferred method of contact as phone then these should be all the related record should also be phone so for that first of all we have to go to the solution open your power apps and in the power apps open your solution so this is my solution here i want to add a cloud flow so for that you click on new automation automated cloud flow give it a suitable name like update preferred method and trigger should be data verse when a row is added or modified deleted uh, change type would be modified table name i would select accounts scope would be organization and we have to select a column because sometimes if we update anything on that uh, account record so this flow will trigger which we don't want we want only to trigger this when particular column updated so for that first of all we need to see that logical name of that column which would be preferred method so first of all see that so this is the logical name of that uh, column so you want this field if this field is getting updated then our flow should be to go and click on new step now right now what we want so now what we want we want to have that uh, value of preferred contact method so inside a variable we will store it uh, name is as a contact method and type should be integer because as we know that uh, if i open any uh, this table and in this table as we can see that uh, preferred contact method these are the values in the integer form and uh, now we will have take method and now click on new step uh, list rows we want to have all the related record of that account to list all the records which is associated with this account context and in the fetch xml query because in, uh, we can see that it exclude lookups so we cannot uh, write down any old data query so for the fetch xml query open we have to go to contact table and click on edit filters click on add row company name equal select any company name uh, after that we will we can change it now click on download fetch xml click here we don't want ui name so just delete it from here and this value also we will use a dynamic value here now control a control c go back to your power automate flow in the fetch xml query paste it down here and here we will use a dynamic value of account identifier 
so it will uh, this action will get all the records which is related to this particular account from here and now we will use a condition for apply to each select value from list rows select update arrow from microsoft dataverse table name will be contact row id we will select from that list row in here we have to update preferred contact method select this one and here as we can see this is option set field but we don't we can't set option from here because uh, the changes could be any and after that we cannot select it here so click on enter custom value and here we will use our value integer value contact method here now click on save test it manually click on test open your CRM environment go back to your account open this account now go to details change contact method to fax click on save and if I come to contact so this uh, related contact should be changed we will refresh it so now as you can see that these are these records preferred method of contact has been changed to fax and if you go back here we can see that your flow runs successfully everything is looking fine so that's it from the video please like and subscribe and share thank you